when we reach the vicinity of the bomb, Admiral Nelson and I will dive down and deactivate the devices that protect it. Then we'll bring it aboard Seaview and deactivate the bomb itself. Do you agree with Lang's plan, Harry? Completely. Then proceed. And Lang, the President himself has said he will ensure your safety. Well, I'd prefer him to express his gratitude in a vastly more important way. How? By disarming. By destroying your weapons. By taking a step back from the brink of a holocaust. The World Disarmament Congress is working toward that end right now, Lang. At a snail's pace. Everyone must disarm. They will in time. Meanwhile, the greatest threat to world peace is lying out there under the sea. When we recover the bomb, I will contact you. Very well. Good luck. I'd like to be brief, Lang. Right. The bomb is on the ocean floor about 500 feet beneath the surface. Well, why didn't they place it lower in one of the uh, great trenches, for example? Well, for one thing, they wanted to be able to recover it. Also, none of the great trenches is in the right location. You mean that the trenches are all too close to them? The bomb's area of effect depends upon where it is detonated. Now, for example, if uh, it was triggered just 100 miles to the east, no place on Earth would be spared. How could you possibly help them to construct a weapon like this? They were a weak power. They were preaching all the right things. They hated war. They deplored nuclear weapons. And you believe that? I thought if they had power, they would also have the wisdom to force the world to disarm. You're not only a traitor, you're, you're stupid as well. Not one man, not, not one individual, not one nation should ever have complete control over the entire Earth. We've located the bomb, Admiral. It's directly beneath us. See if you can come within 200 feet of it. Any closer and the sensors will pick up the hull and trigger the bomb. I'll take it down to 300 feet, Lee. And Captain, be very careful not to get any closer. The bomb is surrounded with self-activating seeking torpedoes that will fire on any metallic object that comes within range. Take it down slowly, Mr. Morton. Hold at 300 feet. Aye, sir. Admiral. Are you certain that the anti-magnetic paint will completely cover any metal on our diving gear? Absolutely. The metal sensors won't find us. Let's suit up. wire cutters. triggering mechanism. You're the only one that could have done it, Lang. That's true. I couldn't have done it without Seaview. There. Uh, 
Yeah, it's done. Now, no one in the world can detonate that bomb except me. What are you talking about? It's quite simple. I haven't disarmed the bomb. I've simply made it impossible for anyone else to set it off. This button makes me, Everett Lang, the most powerful man in the world. What do you want? What, what, do you, what do you hope to gain? We've been on the brink long enough. I'm going to force the world to take a step away from war. Don't make me press this button, Captain. Give me my chance to restore the world to sanity. Mr. Lang, right now in Zurich, the World Disarmament Congress... And how long will it take them? Two years? Ten? A hundred? Well, whatever it takes, the security and safety of every nation has to be safeguarded. And if you press that button, all you do is give the enemy the power to control the world. Admiral Nelson, I told you, if this bomb were moved 100 miles to the east into a different wind and current pattern, every place on the earth would be destroyed. Captain? Captain, take your submarine to these coordinates. At full speed, we should be there in exactly one hour and 46 minutes. Proceed, Captain. As he says, Lee, here's all the cards. I'm glad you realize that, Admiral. Bring that chair over here. Do it. Do it, I say. I'll give you orders around here. Don't do it, Chief. <laughs> Just. Wheel it over, nice and easy. Huh? Now, Admiral, I have some orders for you. Well, Admiral, in just 30 seconds, we will know. Huh? They, uh, they, need, they need more time. Decision. Time for decision is now. Turn on the video phone, please. Mr. Chairman, has the World Disarmament Congress made its decision? I'm waiting. We have. And what is that decision? The member nations have appointed you President pro tem of the Congress and have unanimously agreed to abide by your rulings. At last. We're about to move back from the brink. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> Submarine Seaview is the capital of the world. And man's destiny is mine to shape. of the capitulation are simple. Each nation has 24 hours in which to destroy its weapons. Now, I leave it to the World Disarmament Congress to decide how this is to be done and how each nation is to prove to each other and to me that this has been accomplished. You have 24 hours and not one second more before I push this button. Now turn it off. I'm not interested in hearing how it can't be done. Don't you understand? There is no way. Well, they found a way to arm, now let them find a way to disarm. If they can't, then the world is doomed anyway. Why prolong the agony? Admiral, I want to be left alone. I don't want to worry about one of you trying to take this away from me. Lang, everybody prays for disarmament for the end of war, but it can't be achieved this way. You're placing every nation in jeopardy instead of saving it. Well, I've tried all the other ways. And now I'm talking to them in the only language that they understand, and that is the language of power. You'll see. I'm right. What 
noise of Admiral. We still have several hours before we're here. We've waited as long as we're going to wait, Lang. But we still haven't heard. I know they'll do it, Matt Nelson. I, I know they'll do it. They've rejected your demands. But they can't. I mean, do they think I'm bluffing? Don't they know that I'll press this? Give it to me. No!